Okay guys, so in this video we're going to collapse it. Um, I'm assuming you have all the pre-creases done. So let's get started. Um, we want probably the white side up, doesn't really matter I guess. But So first things first, we are going to collapse this bird base again. Okay? Um, but, oh, first things first, we gotta do the first thing first. It's important, it's important that we make this crease right here a mountain fold and this crease right here a mountain fold um, because it's not it's not going to be your typical bird base it's not going to be your typical bird base it's going to be um, something much more interesting all right so once we've reversed those two folds now we can now we can collapse it first in the primary base so make sure you have your make sure you have your valley folds and your diagonals mountain folded like that. You should be able to collapse it just like this. All right? Obviously don't hard crease these two things. It's, but okay, so let's keep going. Uh, we can do we can do the bird base of this part. We can yeah. So we can do this collapse. That's easy. But this collapse, this one's interesting. So so basically, what we're gonna do instead of well instead of collapsing like a normal bird base, we're going to we're gonna valley fold along this and this and mountain fold this okay so what that's essentially going to do is wrap this paper around this part so let me just show you what that looks like and I had to unfold um, the part that I already folded just to do that. Look, so, so see what I'm doing? Alright, All right, so do you see how this paper, this part, is like wrapped around this part? That's what we want. So let's do the same thing on this side. So unfold it partially. We're gonna push push this point in. We're going to, we're gonna use this mountain folds. Kind of wrap it around like this. Make sure this part's neat. All right, so that was the first part of the collapse, but we're not done. The fun's not over yet. Um, I'm gonna put it into a better form, which is this. So hopefully you can see the resemblance to the bird base a little bit, but this part of the bird base is like, well, you know. Um. Okay. So before we keep going, well, before we further collapse it, we need to we need to basically put we need the outside reverse fold kind of. I'm not sure what this is called, but we we need to make this point on the outside and we need to make this paper over here so what we can do is just push this point in like that there so now now this point is on the outside obviously <laughs> 
All right. So now, uh, when it's in this form like this, we can completely like we can finish doing all the folds and collapsing it and stuff. Um, so let's do that. So 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 where should we start? Um, this should be okay. Th this crease needs to be a valley fold. This crease, this crease right here. It needs to be valley. So let's just reverse that. Um, same thing on the other side. It, it's okay if it's not like a hard valley fold. It's just, yeah. Oh, that's not what, <laughs> that's not the piece I wanted to do. So it, it, this isn't gonna just—it's not gonna just fall together. All right, it, it's <laughs> definitely not just gonna like fall together. We need to—we need to do a good amount. Uh, make sure, make sure this strip, this strip, like from step 13, is um, is folded. Okay, um, what else can we do? We need to start, we need to start collapsing, collapsing this part. So let's, yeah, let's start, let's start collapsing the kite thing. So step 12, this, um, we're going to mountain fold all the way around um, like this. And valley fold. Then mountain fold the inside. And once you once you do this to both sides, it'll it'll uh, definitely start coming together. We've got this. We've got this pretty much collapsed. This part collapsed. Um, the first, the first part, we need to we need to fix this so it lays flat. So all we need to do is make a mountain fold, and then fold that mountain fold down. And this is this is like the part, the front part of the coat. So. That looks pretty good. Um, and so we have it in this form. This is good. Let's do the same thing to the other side. Let's do the same thing to the other side. So do the mountain folds all the way around. Then your valley folds. Then some more mountain folds. And just 
collapse it just like just like I did on the other side. that same that same part here where it's not like laying flat so we have to do this like that Let me fix it a little though gotta make that mount fold and then fold that mount fold down Okay, so we've got we've got both sides kind of partially collapsed, sort of. Now let's let's work on this area. So and this yeah. Um, let's do this side first. This should be yeah. This should be a valley fold. So I, I remember talking about that earlier. All right, so. Mountain fold this, then we got to valley fold this, but we're actually valley folding it all the way through. So we're gonna, so we're valley folding this, and we're gonna keep going through this collapsed part, basically. Just, just um, so it lies flat, and. And we're gonna get to another point where we need to we need to do um, that like pleating kind of. This should be this should be a mountain fold, right? Yeah, this should be a mountain fold. You know what, before... Hold on. No, I, I mean, I should, I should be able to do this stuff right now, all right? Sorry, I, I had a little trouble, <laughs> a little bit of trouble, but um, I got it. So, so you can see that we can lie it flat now, sort of. Let me let me fix this to make it overlap better. So you see how I can you see how I can lay it flat. Um, what I did was where this mountain fold hits step twelve, you can fold through the entire like strip. Like, yeah, um, you can mountain fold through that entire thing, and then 
when you try to lay it flat, you just you just collapse it like this. Okay, and that's what it should look like. Let me let me show you again on the other side. So trying to collapse it. This is this point right here. You fold it all the way up to there. This mountain fold all the way to here. And then we mountain fold through this strip like this. it like that yeah <laughs> see oh that was a lot that was a lot smoother than uh than last time uh than the other side rather so that's what it should look like All right, so we have something that should look like this, hopefully. And now we can start working on this upper part. Um, so the next thing I would do is, well, hold on. Let me get this stuff out of the way. All right, so the next thing we can we should do let's do this. So you sh okay, so I'm I'm just trying to like flatten it a little bit. Um okay, let's do this first. Let's do this first. So we have this we have this area right here. So we have this strip, right? We have this strip. In this area it's not lying flat. So we're actually we actually need to reverse it. Um so fold fold this edge. center like this it's not even reversing it. it's just like it's just like flattening it there we go okay Make sure, make sure the little triangle is on the outside. So, so we have this. All right, and this is obviously the hat. But, um, okay. So, so once we have this, we sh we should be able to get it to like this kind of thing. All right, and it, it sh it's actually yeah. You can this this lies flat just like this. This this will lie flat. And uh, let me just show you. And I just created another crease here, and here. All right, there we go. Um, so if you get to this point, you're very, very close. Um, but yeah, so let me just show you like the different parts of it. Okay. Um, what's next? We want to let me zoom in, it's getting smaller. Um, we're going to want to squash fold this part. So just open it up and squash it down into a triangle. It's not, it's not super important that you do this perfectly. Like mine's a little off, but that's okay. Um, Okay, so that's in a triangle. I'm going to put it back and I'm going to do the other one. So just open it up and squash it down. There we go. Okay, next we are going to, yeah. So now we're going to, we're going to fold this down like that and fold this down like that. OK, 
Okay, so we have, it'll look like this now. And what we can do now is we can finally, we can finally reverse, inside reverse fold the head. So let me zoom out a little bit. This is kind of close. So open it up from the center and just inside reverse fold. Like that. Awesome. Um, this this is a good time before the hat is up there. This is a good time to narrow the head. So we're gonna we're gonna just. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to. Um, I'm going to narrow the head like this. The paper's kind of thick here, so it doesn't have to be like. I mean, you don't have to do. It. Don't have to do it perfectly. Or like like perfectly in half, just just fold it down a little bit, like I am. There we go. Oop, there, perfect. Okay, so now we can fold the um, we can fold the hat up. So if you remember step seventeen, we have this crease and this crease. We're gonna kind of use that. So we're gonna outside reverse fold the hat like this, using those creases that are from 17. All right, there we go. Okay, cool. So <laughs> the hat's almost there. Now we want to pleat fold or crimp. I think it's a pleat. So um, this this strip and this strip, okay? So just fold it down and then fold it back up at the angle that you want, um, that you wanted that. But ho hold on, I before we do that, before we do that, so this part right here, it actually should be, so let's fix this. I mean, it's not, it's not messed up. It, the way we did it was fine, but at the time, but um, just take this outer layer. Okay, take this outer layer, layer and like refold it on the outside like this. Okay, because this is like his collar kind of. So this is, we want it to look like this. And let's do the same thing to this side. Just take the outer layer. There's no reason to take all the layers and, and just fold it to the outside like this. Okay. Okay. Now let's, let's go back to the hat. So, um, fold the strip down and then, or yeah, fold it down like that and then fold it back up at the angle you want the hat to be at. Same thing to this side. Then you're going to have to shift these creases around a little bit. That's fine. Okay, cool. And now we can just, um, so once we have the hat at the right angle, we can fold. Sorry, this is a little off. That's okay though. We can fold, um, we can fold the hat down like this. And this will sort of lock this area. Not really though. Um, you're going to want to, You're gonna want to do. You're gonna want to connect these two points somehow. I, you can't really lock them in, but I, I'd recommend. Maybe you can. I don't know. Good luck. But I'd recommend just using some either glue or uh, MC glue or something to to make them stay together. But we can do that later. I'll do. I will. I will do that later. Um, but anyway, so the hat is finished. The hat is. This is. This is the hat. You can, you can try to shape the the ball thing if you want to, but I kind of like how it looks. It's actually supposed to this triangle. This part is supposed to be like pointing out a little like that. So, you know. Um, okay. So finally, well, not finally. Now let's work on, let's work on the tail. So all you have to do, if you have it in this form, we're gonna fold the wing up that and we're gonna fold this edge in
Okay, fold the wing back down. Well, actually you can't, oh yeah, let's fold the wing back down. But we're gonna fold it down as far as we can. So it's gonna stop at like this point. So let's just fold it along like that. Okay, there we go. Let's do the other side. Fold this wing up, fold this edge in, and fold the wing back down. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, and now we can just inside reverse fold the tail up, if you want, or you can do it later. There we go. All right, and now the wings. So um, the wings, the folds for the wings are not actually on the crease pattern, but we can we can figure it out. So. You should have this looking good, but the wings aren't done. Oh, oh, actually, before we, yeah, b before we do that, we're gonna want to, we want to angle the body, right? So, let's just pull it out here. Let's just pull it out like this. Um, do it. What? Do uh, do the angle to whatever angle you want, but. It should be good. Okay, so don't yeah don't don't forget to do that. It'll look kind of weird if you don't. Um, so now for the wings. Uh, first off, we're going to we're gonna look at the bottom of the wing, and we're going to mountain fold. We're gonna mountain fold along this edge, all the way to the base, all the way to the base of the wing. Okay, and now. We are going to, we're gonna take this edge and we're not gonna fold it, we're not gonna fold it this edge, but we're gonna fold it like somewhere in the middle. So like this is the sleeve kind of, and we want the point of the wing to be like in the middle of it. So we're gonna fold it like right about there. Okay. And when we, when we look at the top again, This is what it's gonna look like. It's completely okay that these layers are like getting pushed up. That's fine, that's going to happen. But anyway, so let's keep going. So now that we've done that, um, let's, let's do this. So let's, let's open this up and take this edge and fold it to here. And we're, this isn't gonna lie flat, this is just like a pre-crease. Let's just, just fold it like as high up as possible. Just fold it like that. All right, and now I'm gonna unfold. All right, there we go. So we just needed that pre-crease. So now what we're gonna do is unfold this part and we're going to fold we're going to fold this edge the same width as this edge okay just like that um, we're making the sleeve right now so we want it to be like this and we're going to leave this folded so it should look like this right now using the crease, um, now we're gonna collapse it. So if you start trying to put it together with while folding this edge down, it should look like this, okay? It should look like this. And you can, you can kind of, you can kind of flatten it. Um, like that, so. Now mine is a little off, so let me show you how to fix it. Um, no, notice how, I mean, look, like this point isn't where it should be. So I'm going to unfold it a little and it's because I it used the wrong, it ended up folding this mountain fold, this valley fold, but I want it to be the one on the right. So I just gotta be more careful. Let's try that again.
There we go. Much. Well, let's not. Let's not speak too soon. What it's supposed to look like. So, it should look like this. And let me just show you the inside. So, this is what the inside looks like. It'll it'll end up looking like this. I, ideally, it's smooth. But. Um, but I mean, you, you can do whatever you want to make this look better. This is just, this is the sleeve. It's, it's the final step. So <laughs> do it, do what you need to do, but th that's how I, that's how I fold it. So let's do the other one. Um, let's do the other one. So yeah, first we're going to flip it over and mountain folds along Way. Okay, and then we're going to make a valley fold so that this point is kind of like in between, in, like inside the sleeve, sort of like that. So it'll look like this on the other side. And there will be there will be some sliding here, but that's okay. Just gonna, just gonna flatten it down like this. All right. Um. Oh, you know what? This one doesn't have to do that. So the, the sleeve, the sleeve should slide. The, sh the sleeve should be up, but this one shouldn't be. I, I didn't. I forgot about that. So you gotta just put that back down. Like that. Okay, that that looks better. Okay, um, but let's keep going. So now we're going to we're gonna fold this edge to the bottom edge and unfold. And now we're going to fold the strip like so. And then we're going to collapse it. So hopefully, hopefully this one works out better so I can show you that I'm not just crazy. Um, well, that's not what I want. That's, yeah, yeah, something like that. something like something like this okay it's a little it's a little iffy in there I I don't know it, it literally doesn't matter because you can't see that part but I, I had to make this part up to look like the pictures I've seen by the way so if you figure out a better way then go for it but um, but yeah, that, so that's how you do the sleeves and that's it. That is, that is it. I hope I'm not forgetting anything now. Just the, um, just the finished finishing touches. So 
but yeah, that, this is Santa Crane. So I, but I will be back. I will be back with the shaped, with the half shaped. But in like, in my opinion, the um, the sleeves and the wings and stuff, everything else doesn't really need any shaping, like any glue or anything at all. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but um, but yeah, I'm going to I'm going to shape the hat, and I'll be right back. Here it is, guys, the finished Santa Crane. If you made it this far and you actually completed it, congratulations, really great job. I, I hope you enjoyed my first uh, crease pattern tutorial. Um, it's a little bit more difficult because there's no diagrams, but nonetheless, I really, really hope this helped. Uh, I'm looking to do more crease pattern tutorials, hopefully, so if you have any ideas, please leave a comment in the description. Um, and if you've made this, please, please, please post it to Instagram and and uh, and tag me. They're like hashtag an average origamist, and then I'll see it. Hopefully, if enough people do it, I can make a video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was clear. Um, this is a really cool model. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next one. I just wanna be with you.